I'm going to revise a previously recorded candy bar fueling so that it includes only Octavia approved fuelings, nothing else. So let's have fun with fuelings and make a candy bar. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey using Octavia's five in one program. As part of the Optivia program, you eat fuelings that come to you prepackaged in your monthly Optivia box. And there are ways where you can take two fuelings, combine them together, and make two separate fuelings with a combo. And so what I'm going to show you how to do is how to make a candy bar. But before I do that, can I invite you just to like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. That just lets YouTube know that you are enjoying this content. It lets me know that you're enjoying this content and it allows things like this to show up on your feed more often. So without further ado, let's make some candy bar. What I'm going to use is the peanut butter shake and the decadent chocolate brownie mix. Now I previously did this using PB2 powder, but since I made that video, I have talked to nutritional support who has told me that PB2 powder is not recommended for people who are on the five in one program. It's fine if you're on maintenance, so you've met your goal and you're trying to maintain your weight loss. At that point, it is fine, but it does not fit into the nutritional per parameters of either a condiment or a fueling or a healthy fat for the Optivia program, the five in one program. So that's why I'm redoing this. I'm gonna leave the other one up and make a notation on it and the title uh, because I don't wanna lose the views. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shake and I'm going to add that to my bowl. And then I'm going to take the brownie mix and add that as well. And then using a whisk, I'm going to mix the two of them together before I add the water. I'm just gonna whisk these together. And I'm gonna try to break up some of the chunks that are in the shake. Sometimes those the shakes can get a little bit lumpy. Now keep in mind that the chocolate, uh, the brownie does have um, Greek yogurt chips in it, so you're gonna have some lumps in there, and that's probably pretty good. And then I'm gonna start with four tablespoons of water, and I may have to add a little bit more, uh, but I need to grab a spatula. Okay, I'm going to add my four tablespoons of water and mix this up. And I really want not a completely runny, like soupy consistency, but I don't want it super thick. And like right now you can see it's, it's pretty thick. Um, so I'm gonna add a little more water. So I think I'm gonna add another tablespoon and see where that gets me. I think I'm gonna do half of a tablespoon. So that's gonna put me at five and a half tablespoons. That should be good. Now I'd fully intended to weigh this ahead of time, but I think I know what I can do to make sure that it is half and half. So, I am going to put my, these candy bar molds, by the way, came from Amazon. They come in a pack of four. Um, so I'm gonna put that on my scale and I'm gonna zero out the scale and I'm gonna put what I think is half and see what this weighs. So I put about half in here. So that's weighing in at exactly two ounces. So I'm gonna put two ounces in the other one. So zero out my scale. I 
that's two ounces and I still have some left. So let me see what happens if I do two and a quarter over here. Oops, two and a quarter, it's gonna be a little bit more than that. Maybe two and three eighths. Still says two and a quarter. So let me see if I can add a quarter of an ounce over here. That's a quarter of an ounce, still got a little bit left. So let's see, got that. That brought it up to a half. Let me see if I can get another quarter ounce out of here. So two and a two and two and a half ounces is what I have in the one. It's going to be as close as I can get it. It's not even registering at all, so I'm going to take just a teeny bit off of here. All right. I'm going to guess that these are fairly even. And then I'm just going to try to spread this out in the candy bar mold. I could probably have made it a little bit thinner so that it was a little bit runny, but I was really afraid. Too much water is going to make it freeze too hard, right? Because it's going to be too icy. So if I limit the amount of water that's in it, it might not be as dense. That's close enough. And then I'm going to do this one. And like I told you in the last video, if you watched the last video, um, I watched somebody else do this and they didn't use a baking tray underneath their candy mold and then had to carry the candy mold without any support underneath it in their silicone. So um, I would strongly advise you to put your candy molds on a baking sheet first so that you've got some, that stability underneath it. So these are gonna be pretty on the bottom, but frankly, they don't have to be pretty. They just have to taste good. So I'm gonna put this into the freezer. This is going to make two different fuelings. So I'm gonna freeze this for a few hours and then probably uh, pop them out and put one, one of them in a Ziploc bag and the other one I'll eat. Um, as a fueling, and I'll come back and show you what that's like. But I may wait until tomorrow to make sure that it's frozen really good. I'll just play it by ear. But I am going to come back in a little bit and show you what this looks like when it's all frozen and do another little taste test. So I'll be back. It is a new day, so let me show you how I did the candy bars. Um, they froze really well and I just peeled this silicone thing just peels right off and I popped the candy bar into a quart size Ziploc bag so it just pops in there. Um, I've tried these already and I actually ate the other one already because I haven't had time to make a video until now um, and I will tell you that they taste amazing with the peanut butter shake just as they did with the PB2 powder. So you don't need the PB2 powder, use the peanut butter shake, make two candy bars. But I would also advise you take it out just a few minutes before it needs to be thawed for just a couple of minutes so that you don't break your teeth when you bite into it. And then it will gradually soften as you eat it. It's really good, kind of messy. So, you know, don't take this one in the car. <laughs> with you because it'll get all over your hands um, or just you know hold it in the plastic bag and try not to touch it or something I don't know um, but it's really good so I hope you'll give this one a try it's a great way to try a fueling or to try fuelings in a little bit of a different way so I hope you'll give this one a try with the brownie and the peanut butter shake and until I see you next time please live in the light